What we have here is a product demo of a solution that we have developed for the water industry. Uh, right here is a water meter. Attached to it is a solution that we have put in place. This is called the Zubi. The gray box has two components that we have built. The first one is the energizer, which is the energy harvesting solution. And the second one is the valve. The valve offers basically disconnection and reconnection of the water meter. This solution is connected to the component, which is the communication component, which remotely talks with the RFB. So the Zubi talks with the RFB with your backend system, which is the CIS, the customer services, uh, the customer information system. The CIS issues commands to read the meter, disconnect or reconnect from remote. The commands go from the RFB to the Zubi to this gray box, which basically then controls the meter for disconnection or reconnection and the water is turned off or on based on what the command was. During the time the water is flowing, the energy is being harvested. There's a micro turbine here which basically converts mechanical energy into electrical energy and saves it in the battery. So what we're going to do here is a demo of the solution. Right now the water is flowing. The backing CIS system is uh, The backend CIS system uh, issues the general commands for the disconnection and reconnection. I'm going to issue a command for closing the valve. And within 10 seconds, what happens is so the command goes from the RFB to the Zubi to the valve and it shuts off the water. You hear a small click. That was a click you heard. Uh, it basically turns off the water. Similarly, the backend system, which can be your SAP, Oracle, CIS, um, um, uh, SPL, uh, Peace, uh, GDF, or any other backend systems can communicate with our middleware to reissue a connection to open the valve and also be able to check the status of the valve. Meaning to say, is it open, is it closed, what is the meter reading, what is the, uh, uh, the strength of the battery at any given moment of time. So here it is, the, va the water is open. Um, and this is a solution which is being developed as we speak. Uh, the components are right now uh, quite huge as you see. Our solution, uh, which is going to be out by the end of this year, will be compact enough to fit within this uh, meter size, which is about seven and a half inch. The lifespan of the battery? The lifespan of the battery is conventionally uh, 10 years. Uh, it's a rechargeable battery. Uh, and it is, uh, we, we could potentially stretch it to 15 years. But right now it's 10 years. And the uh, standby life, if it doesn't get any charging from the mechanism? The standby uh, lifetime is 6 months with about 8 to 10 uh, uh, reconnection and disconnection and, re, uh, and, and, and 6 months long of uh, read every 10 minutes. So when you send a signal and the water gets cut off, does it send back a signal as confirmation that the water is exit, that it has stopped the the stat, Yes, the status check, uh, the request for disconnection or the request for reconnection comes back as a confirmation, which tells you that the valve is uh, closed or not. And you can, of course, at any given time, request for uh, valve status. What is the approximate range between the Zubi and the uh, RFB? The Zubi and the RFB is essentially 900 yards. However, because of the LEAF technology that we have developed, we have called something called the remote uh, configuration protocol, which allows different LEAFs to jump to uh, uh, individual endpoints to reach the RFB. So essentially, you can form a long, wide chain which could run into miles. And why is this solution better than other solutions that are on the market? The solutions that are uh, existing solutions only offer reading. And they use a battery, which they uh, boast will last 10 years. Uh, however, the moment you are add components such as disconnection, reconnection, quality of service, what is your pH level, you add any additional sensors, your battery would not last that long. So this solution essentially is self-sustaining 
and you can essentially add more components to the solution for your endpoints uh, uh, analysis. Now, you say you plan to consolidate all of that into the size of an actual meter, which is about seven inches. Seven and a half inches. Um, do you have any foreseeable hurdles to accomplish that? There yes, actually, here's the solution. Which uh, this is the picture of the existing uh, solution that is going to be out by November. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching my meters. <laughs>